Hey, what's up guys? Comment Saturday, and today video we're going to talk about um, strikes that uh, can be called the great neutralizers, okay? So if someone's bigger than you, stronger than you, whatever, you know, um, these can work, okay? They're down and dirty strikes, and uh, they get the job done, okay? So what are they? Um, they are the finger jab, they are the chop, and the back fist, okay? And, and so, um, the good thing about these strikes is that they can all be launched without much preparation, without any preparation. They can be launched from a, a guard position and a natural position, okay? So, one thing to keep in mind is that um, if you're in a street situation, you don't want to assume a guard position. Like, you don't want to say, okay, let's go, let's go, come on, let's go. You don't want to do that because then it's very obvious you want to fight. You want to maintain that element of surprise, okay? And also, you don't know what the guy's packing. You don't know what, 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 what he's got. You don't know how skilled he is. You don't know if he's packing a weapon. Okay, I know a friend in Vancouver who uh, witnessed a fight one time, an altercation, I should say, where uh, someone got into a stance, the other guy backed up and pulled a knife. So, now what are you going to do? Okay? <laughs> Things change a little bit when a, a guy pulls a weapon, okay? So, that's the thing. Um, and it's not like the movies that don't... Don't be a goddamn moron and try to actually engage someone who's got a weapon, okay? You, you're gonna lose, okay? Even, even if the guy doesn't know what he's doing, he's swinging a knife around like, like a maniac, you know? Are you gonna get into that? You, you're gonna try, try, try and block that? I mean, come on, okay? All right? So, you know, you really want to try to get that, that, that first hit. And once you've gotten that first hit, you want to, you, that to inflict pain, then you want to follow up and hit him with harder hits. You know, and really finish your job and then get out of there. That's your goal. You want to get out of there, get home safe, okay? We're talking about street situations here, okay? So, the neutralizers here, we have finger jab, chop, and back fist. Okay, now if you're going to bob dummy, it's really good. But if you don't, you can just uh, do it in the air first and then you can do it on a heavy bag, okay? Now the first one, finger jab. A lot of people will um, have different ways of doing this. The finger jab, they'll have their hands together, their fingers together. Or they'll have it like this, like Bruce Lee did like that. And in this book, you'll see he had like a spear like that, right? Which is, which is good. Um, but the way I think it was a bit better is to have your fingers out a bit more. Because then the chance that you get something good is a little higher, okay? And also, always, always have your fingers bent. Don't ever have them straight. You're going to break them if you do that, okay? Always have them bent, all right? And here, okay? So, you know, make sure you may not be in a guard, but you still want to be rooted, okay? So whether my hands are in a natural position or a guard position, whatever, it's just going to come straight out, okay? Bang! See, it's just going to go right, right, bang! It may start from, like, a non-guard position, but it's going to end in one. Because, I mean, obviously, once you make a hit, I mean, not, now it's on, okay? So I may start here, like that, bang! And then I'm here. And then from here, I can go, bang! See, so, see, so, so here, bang! See? The fingers, here, bang! Or the neck, bang! Just to get pain, you, you don't need to hit him with like really, really hard force. This is just to inflict pain. Hit him with that, get him uh, uh, some pain there, bang, and then bang, and then, and then you can hit, hit him with harder stuff, okay? Keep going until the job's done, whether that's three, four, five, ten hits. Keep going, don't stop. Go bang, and go one, two, three, bang, boom, boom, okay? Whatever the case may, may, may be, okay? You hit him with whatever you got, but the whole idea is to get that first hit, okay? So. The guy's big, bigger than me. I'm gonna do like that. Bang! I can still, boom, right? I can still do it. Okay, and it doesn't matter how big someone is, you can't build muscle in your throat. Okay, you jazz someone in your throat, you jazz someone in the eyes. It, oh, 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 right? It's gonna work if you hit it, right? Yeah, and it comes from unexpected positions. So I mean, you know, really, really, bang, right, right? But, hey, man, I don't want any trouble. And, you know, that kind of thing, right? So see that, that, and it's so easy to get that out there, right? Just remember to keep the fingers bent and spread out. Okay. I mean, you, you, you can experiment. You, you know, you could do it this way if you want to, but this is just what I found works best. Okay. Next one is a chop. Okay. Chop is, um, you want the chop to go on an upward angle. Okay. Not, not like this. All right. But straight and upward. Okay. Because if you, um, if someone touched your chin down, they often will do that instinctively, okay? If the thing is that if you go on an upward angle, there's a good chance you might still get the uh, neck there because it's gonna slide off from underneath. If you do this, you might 
get him in the nose or whatever, you go up, upwards, you, know, you, you might still get hit, right? So from a guard position, you know, bang, it's still going to be up, you know, here, bang. But naturally, it's bang, okay? Sometimes we hold a hand this way, right? It's perfect for that, right? Or this way, perfect for that, right? Or just down here at your sides, that's boom, okay? See, there, there's some palm strikes falling, see? Okay. So that's I, I, um, how you can, you see, so you see what I, I did there? I, I came here, right? Take the angle, bang, bang, bang. So we always like to say, um, close the gap, take an angle, and then fuck them up, okay? That's what we like to, um, that's our uh, master stra stra uh, strategy, okay? Close, close the distance. Take an angle, so I close the distance, I take an angle, and I fuck him up! Okay? Alright, and the third one, back fist, very similar to a chop actually in terms of trajectory and things, but instead of using the side of your hand here, I'm using my uh, knuckles here, or possibly the back of my hand. De 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 depends, I mean, no, it's all, it's all go going out there. Um, side note, a lot of people like to talk about being super, super accurate with their strikes and things like that, you're not going to be able to be that accurate, okay? You, I mean, in terms of pinpointing an exact spot on someone's neck or whatever, it's, people are moving around, okay? This guy's not moving, okay? But, but a human being will, will, will move, okay? I mean, yeah, sure, you want to try and be reasonably accurate, okay? But you want to aim for big, big targets, okay? I'm just aiming for this whole area. I'm, I'm aiming for the neck, actually. But I know I might get him on the button, or I might get him here at the side, the eye. I, I, I don't know, but I'm aiming for this large area. Don't try to be too specific, okay? And with the hand, too, you know, it might be this knuckle, it might be that, the first two, it might be these two, it might be here, it might be here, okay, it might be here, 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 okay? You have to allow for the fact that you're not going to be that accurate, okay? So anyway, side point, all right. So the uh, back fist, again, just like the chop didn't go out like this, the back fist does, doesn't go like that either, okay? Okay, it's it, too much wasted mo movement and too easy to see it, see it coming, okay? It comes in straight. Boom! <laughs> straight, straight up. Again, the guard position. Boom! <laughs> right? Boom! <laughs> or natural position, down here. Boom! <laughs> or it could be... Boom! <laughs> see, just hold the hands here. Boom! <laughs> See, so here, you see that? So uh, I went to here, then set, set up the, the rear hand, and then the lead again. And now I'm in the angle, right? You see, again, hold on. All right, and just keep going until it's finished, all right? And uh, so there, there you go, three um, street effective proven strikes to inflict pain. Again, remember, that first hit, the chop, the finger jab, the back lift, these are not going to knock someone out, but they will hurt them, cause them causing pain. What you want is this, ah, 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 that's what you want. And then hit them with the hardest stuff, okay? And finish it. And then get the hell out of there, okay? So, and there you go, um, practice these strikes, you know, uh, probably three or four sets of 20 reps each. If you got, and do it in the air, and do it on Bob or the bag or whatever, you know, uh, and and just you know try try to try to make make it real, you know. I mean, really imagine that there's someone there. Okay, picture in your mind. Okay, picture try you know. So again, from a guard position, try from a guard position. Try from a, this position. Okay, hands down position. Try from all angles. So you know, we got a finger jab. We got a finger jab. We got a chop, upward angle, and we got the back is also upward angle. And finish the other stuff. Okay. Palm, punch, elbow, headbutt, boom. hammer fist, so back fist, back fist, hammer, that kind of thing, okay, mess around with it, okay, but get that first hit and inflict the pain, all right, uh, there you go, if you have any questions, uh, let me know, any comments, let me know, and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and talk to you soon.